All right, so welcome back, be your own boss, boss up with K. You know where I teach you how to get those gig jobs, those driving gigs, medical courier, freight, expediting, anything to help you level up at that nine to five rat race. We about that. And of course, I'm here with another great, great driving gig for the medical courier boys. For you guys interested in becoming a medical courier driver, I'm gonna tell you what it's all about and this company, how to get started with them. It's the great medical courier company to get you, you know. Let's just get into it. What we're talking about, you see the title to the thumbnail drop off. Yep, we're about to drop it on off. Pick up, drop off. That's the name of the game. Now, drop off um, is a, you know, bigger company that does last mile, um, they partner with a lot of other companies, but right now, one of their main streams of revenue is the medical courier field, and particularly still picking up medical samples, um, you know, C19 samples, uh, blood work, DNA tests, anything that's, uh, you know, medical related that clinics and hospitals, you know, do and need tested uh, overnight or have to get sent out to a different lab. You pick those up and then drop them off to a different location. So that's in, in a nutshell, that's what your medical um, courier work would drop off. It's a little something different than the video I posted earlier where you see me delivering medical prescriptions to patients. Um, this is, you know, a different side of the medical courier field. Um, sometimes it's a little bit more pay, but it's a lot more running around. Um, you have to, you know, go to different location and go to one main location to drop everything off. Um, usually close to an airport if it's some overnight stuff that needs to be tested very quickly, or you know, you send it to a lab or you know, something of that nature. And then one time I had to drop off a pickup from a lab and actually take it to FedEx myself with this company, but uh, we're well, not this company in particular, but with another company. But we're talking about drop off today, so of course, you know, we're going to hop into the laptop. Check out the website, see what you got to do to apply, see what the application looks like. Of course, hop on uh, Glassdoor and Indeed, actually get some real deal salary information. We don't want the fake information, we want the real. We want what you guys who already been driving for drop off have been saying. So if you're already a drop off employee, leave a comment down below. Give us a real testimony. You like it, you love it. If you'd be interested in drop off, if you apply, you haven't heard back, let us know. I do know a lot of these companies, uh, they get thousands of applications and depending on what area you're in, especially even a large city where people are looking for work. Sometimes you get on the waiting list, but I think I may have a way for you guys to uh, shorten up the waiting list. So stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm gonna give you all a trick to get on in. All right, let's hop on in. All right. All right, now we are in the laptop dropoff.com. You see the website, you see the the link. Of course, it's going to be down in the description area below. I dropped all the gems off so you guys don't make you search for all this stuff. I'm going to hit it right there in your lap. So drop off, sign up with them. A little bit about drop off. You know, they do everything from last mile to healthcare, to, you know, technology, packages, food delivery. Anything that needs to be dropped off, they're going to drop it off to you. Um, of course, you can drive your own vehicle, flexible hours. You pay by the delivery package, never people. And you kind of go through an app where you can get your uh, directions where you're going. So with this medical courier deal, you're going to have a clinic where you're going to go to. They're going to have what exactly you're going to pick up, how many, one, two quantity samples, when it's going to be ready. And then you got how much time you got left to get to the another the next clinic. Now it's very important that you guys are very manageable of your time. If you are not, then these um, samples could possibly spoil if they're not picked up and refrigerated in a timely manner. So they give you a time frame of when you got to go pick everything up, a window, and then you really can't even be too early. Sometimes the clinics that don't have the, the uh, samples ready or packed up properly, so. You may have to wait and uh, so just you know make sure you be mindful of the time get there on time within five minutes of the time frame um, they have it set up from when you're driving you know place to place i know traffic and 
sometimes things happen, but like after the first two times, you kind of get a custom to your route and you kind of know where you're going. This makes it a lot easier going around the place, especially if you're familiar with your city. So, you know, here's all the other companies that work for LabCorp is the, one of the main uh, medical courier um, and Quest, one of the two main medical courier, medical companies you're doing courier for. So that's that. So once you come to the website, you just go to drive for us, sign up to drive, and then that's how you begin the application process. Now, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm going to give you a couple of ways to actually jump the line and, uh, you know, get ahead and get in your drop off system a little bit sooner. It took me about six months to get a phone call back. You guys are extremely busy with applications right now. A lot of YouTubers are talking about um, this company, the medical courier work. Um, I started talking about it last year, one of the first ones on YouTube talking about this. So be patient, but I'm going to give you some gems to get in the system and cut the line. Now, of course, you know, like any other company, they have a Facebook page. So you can kind of go in here and find some questions of people asking. Here's a phone number. You can kind of get an update of what they got going on get a feel for the company, see if it's something you want to do. But of course we, you know, outside of the <clears throat> website itself, we always go to Glassdoor to kind of get a behind the scenes reviews from real drivers, real people who actually work for the company and, uh, you know, just kind of see what they're saying about everything. So with them, they have reviews full time. Fair pay, awesome company. Some of the salaries, transportation, courier. See what some of these courier salaries looking like. 40,000. So 40,000 is not bad. Um, kind of push you around that uh, 23, 24 and up hour range. Some cities pay more. Some cities pay less. But just be mindful of, you know, what you need to make in your city. If this is too low, then don't worry about it. Move on to something else. If you're only making $15, $16 an hour, especially if you have a family, you know, you might want to switch up to do some different things. Add this on um, in the evening or in the morning before you go to work on the weekend. If it's something you like, you can kind of get more hours. Just tell uh, drop off that you're willing to work more hours, more days. And they will send you more routes and more time to work. But it's all about being your own boss, all about building up business. So what you guys can do once you guys figure out, you know, you guys like being a medical courier, you see the ins and outs, you see what type of clinics that you're going to, what type of uh, businesses need these pickup and drop off services. Then on your spare time, you know, you can print some cars up, get your own logistics company, LLC set up and say, hey, I can do this. I can kind of beat the prices of what you're paying right now. Let me earn some business. Try me out for one day. Try me out for some small runs. And, uh, you know, you can build your business up that way, especially if you're in a small town that, uh, you know, drop off is not servicing. All these ph pharmacies, all these clinics need people to pick up and drop off for them. Come in, look presentable, present your business like a real businessman or woman. And it can happen. I've done it before. I've talked to some mom and pop clinics here and kind of kind of the uh, suburbs of Atlanta where a lot of these app places are not hidden and they need people to drop off stuff for them. So go ahead, try it out. Put your name out there, get some cars, some flyers printed up and start, you know, building, building your business up outside of these apps and start getting to some real money. But right now, you know, this is the way to get some experience, see the ins and out of the industry. And that's what we're going to do. So here is the uh, drop-off application. Some of the things that they ask for, you know, once you be flexible with your hours, have to be 21 and up. Sorry about that. If you are uh, under 21, iPhone, kind of tech savvy. Now this is low skill work. Everybody know how to work a smartphone. Everybody know how to pull up and log into an app. So they're not going to pay you a whole bunch of money, but you still have to be paying attention to details and uh, what you're picking up. Make sure you get the right pictures. Make sure you're marking the right samples picked up. 
They are going to do a background check. They are going to check on your car, make sure your car um, is not too old. Uh, I think it has to be like 12 years or newer type of vehicle. They want to know, you know, can't be a truck. Usually they frown upon truck when picking up samples with the open bed. Now, if you have a cover on your bed with a lock, then you can do this. But if not, then you're liable to have your samples stolen when you get to the next location. So they want, you know, something that you can lock away the samples and it's not exposed to the elements as well. Because a lot of times you have to keep these things cool. Of course, they want to know, you know how old your vehicle is. But for that reason, they don't want too old uh, vehicles. Have to pick up at least 50 pounds. I've never picked up anything that heavy, but sometimes you can. Sometimes they do load you up with big bags of medical samples. So that may be a must if you have any kind of, you know, muscle issues or nerve issues could be limiting, but you can always bring carts, bring equipment with you, you know, inside places to move big stuff around. You don't have to worry about toting everything. Uh, how many hours you work, days of the week you're working, how did you hear about drop off? You know, you're going to say your boy K. Um, why you answered it, you know, you want to get to the money. You want to do something different than food delivery. You want to work with people. You want to not work with people, but um, start working with people, start driving people around, start driving food around. You want to just pick up a product and drop it off and work independently. And then, you know, some do drug tests. I haven't heard anybody been drug testing. I wasn't, but things could be changed. That could be one way they're going to weed out drivers. They're going to have a lot of, lot of applications flooding, especially when this video comes out and other content creators on YouTube are doing reviews about drop off. So just be patient with them, but I'm going to show you a way to actually get in and, uh, you know, fill out the application, get your application pulled a little bit faster. Now, see, having trouble, um, these people, I don't know exactly who this is, but this is somebody who actually works for drop-off. They could just be in technical support and say your application will go through, but I will email them if you haven't heard anything back within two or three weeks after, you know, submitting all your paperwork, doing the test and everything, you know, hit them up, send them an email, say, hey, you submitted, you know, you haven't heard anything back, nothing was pulled, can you check? A lot of times these employees were either check for you or send you an email or a number or a contact person to get a hold of. That's one way I was able to kind of, you know, jump the line and get in so that's a free gym for you guys like i said always do your research about these companies um yelp sometimes has great reviews about people who's driving for them before or they may have a competitor to drop off like this midtown courier so if you are you know this is probably midtown atlanta but depending on your city and state it'll geolocate a competitor of uh, drop off and you kind of hit that competitor up and see if they need work or you can partner with them for anything. A little free game, free gym for you guys. Um, of course, the app is on the Play Store and the iOS. But indeed, indeed, yes, indeed. Indeed is going to show you where all the places are hiring. Um, indeed is pretty good about keeping things updated, although this was, you know, submitted 30 days ago. So I'm not sure how, if they're still hiring in these markets, but here are some of the major markets that drop off is hiring in. So you definitely want to get in now. Um, like I said, they're going to be flooded with applications pretty much pretty soon. Birmingham, here's two Alabama locations. I mean, they're all over you guys. So do not worry about not finding it for your location. What you do have to worry about is getting on that waiting list and uh, you know, waiting out people who come aboard and drop off or who can't do this or you know, quit after a few days, you got to wake them out until you get in. That's why I had to do. A lot of people was in the system before me around this time last year, but I guess towards the summertime, people going on vacation, they dropped off and they needed me. They came on in. They haven't looked back since. And in the future, I'm going to do some runs with them. Um, show you guys, you know, in the field work, even though I do have a video going back from last year, if you guys are Oh, subscribe to the channel. I might bring that old video back again for you guys. 
Uh, here's some more information behind the scenes about them. You know, they are a newer company, um, you know, still getting founded, still a private company. They're not public. They're like Uber and Lyft, you know, backed by Silicon Valley. So they're going to be having a lot of ups and downs, a lot of revenue structures, different CEOs coming in, changing things around. The app's going to look different from time to time. So just kind of be patient with these newer companies. Um, this ride, share this gig economy, everything is new. Everything is trying to get figured out, but uh, we're trying to be on boss and these companies are helping you do that. We're getting up out the nine to five rat race, you guys. All right. And then of course, LinkedIn has information about them as well. Um, if you're interested in, you know, applying for the company themselves, they have offices in Atlanta, have offices in Austin. If you're a coder, if you're a programmer, you know, if you do things of that nature, you work in logistics and you know you got a degree in that you want to get in with them get you some money use that full-time active income and then switch it over to your business your side hustle and that's what we're about using money from here and moving it over here so you have to work all your life all right guys all right so comment down below how you like this video comment down below if you got any questions or concerns any apps you want me to review any uh, states um, you haven't seen me do cover, any uh, curry companies that you are worried about, you're interested in, let me know. I'll just say, what up, K? Love the video, man. Every comment, every like, every subscribe helps this channel get out to a wider audience, helps America get back to work, helps everybody put money in their pockets. That's what we're trying to do. Keep them people creeping inside your house, breaking into your cars. People get money, keep it busy out here, and they ain't got time for the wrong things. All right. All right. Later on, people. We're gone. All right. All right. So, like I promised you at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a shortcut to jump the line and get in with drop off. This young brother, Cars and Cribs YouTube channel, one of the only other YouTube channels I rock with out here. This guy's actually out here doing it in the field, driving, not just talking about it, not just interviewing other drivers actually out here, really out here driving, showing you guys the ins and outs, showing you guys how much they're really paying and how much they're not paying. So follow this guy, Carl's and Cribs. Tell him your boy, Boss Over K, since you all know over there. But check it out. Let's go. For any of you guys who are interested in drop-off and I can suck stuff, all you have to do is email me at roamshousereviews at gmail.com. I'm going to put my email address in the comment section so you guys can go ahead and email me and tell me your name and I'm going to email them and it goes, we going to give you a thing. I'm going to hook you up, baby. So, let's do that and then you don't have to follow through with all the, all the other stuff I told you guys you got to do. Like, get your driver's record and all that stuff and all the other stuff, background check and everything so you can get that grade. So, comment below. All right. So, there you go. After you go through the application, after you put your application in, submit your testing, everything you need to do on drop off in, then email this brother your name, um, you know, your city, your state, where you're at, and then he's going to do the rest for you guys. Subscribe to his channel. Shout him out. All right. There you go. There's the gems. Later.